Hello, everybody. Welcome to the First United Methodist Church of Loomis, our weekly podcast, episode eight. Woo! Episode Woo eight. We're oh, two months into this thing. And we do this every <laughs> week to communicate and reach out and tell you all fabulous people what we're doing at Loomis United Methodist Church because we do have such an amazing church. And this week we have Allison Berry, our beloved pastor, down at the bottom little Woo square there. <laughs> Say hi, Allison. Wave. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. And we have Melanie Oliver, our Christian educator, our beloved. Our associate pastor. <laughs> and yes, I am a little loopy. I am on pain meds. <laughs> so, Ray this, is fun today. <laughs> this may be a very interesting podcast. So I'm still dealing with my shingles, um, but I made it to choir rehearsal last night and the pain meds are wonderful. I highly recommend them if you need <laughs> So what do we have to talk about this week? Uh, the first thing I would like to talk about is your amazing sermon last week, Allison. I loved that whole service. I talked about drawing the circle wide. We had a hymn that went along with that. Mm -hmm. And just talking about how we're supposed to accept people no matter what. We are all God's children. We have to honor them. We have to respect them. We have to love them. That's just the way Darn it, it. I know it as much <laughs> as we don't want to sometimes as hard as it is these days, sometimes we have to do it. And I've been trying to put that into practice more this week, even though sometimes this week, my patience has been thin because I have been in pain. So yeah. it's, it's a very hard lesson hard. to learn. Yes. Yeah. But I wanted to thank you for that wonderful sermon. I thought the service was great. I love the choir anthem. Do yes. Not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Beautiful yes. song. Beautiful mm -hmm. song. And then this week on Sunday, we are finishing up our Leaving Scare City. We are leaving Scare City for the last yes. time. Yes, praise be um, to God. Exactly. And this <laughs> week is how to deal with uh, the feelings of lack of abundance. And yes. you want to talk more about what the topic of your sermon is this week? Well, it's about looking in in our lives for those places of abundance where we felt God's presence. And we're going to ask people to reflect on that during worship and to write down those feelings on butcher paper that's going to be at the back of the sanctuary by the audio visual booth. Mm -hmm. And simply, yeah, just where in our lives do we feel God's presence and God's abundance? Mm -hmm. That's it. Awesome. Simple. I'm looking forward to it because uh, we have talked this, this series has been full of anxiety and fear talking about yes. it constantly. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to finishing this up. What Are you feeling <laughs> anxious? Are you feeling afraid? <laughs> well, I've been anxious for two and a half years, quite frankly. Yes. <laughs> right. yeah. Let's leave it behind. Exactly. And I feel <laughs> as we're moving into the Advent series coming up too, I feel like we're finally getting back to some normality in our daily lives. And even though uh, the pandemic, when it first started, we had a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. I was afraid to leave the house on some days. Uh, and I was bundled up, put my mask on and, and go out into the world and pray. I didn't bring anything home because, you know, my husband's disabled and I was terrified, yeah. absolutely terrified. And we closed the mm -hmm. church for a year. It's like the last two and a half years have been full of anxiety. So this particular series has in some ways been kind of cathartic because I've actually sat mm -hmm. down and, and thought about it more, I think. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this whole thing about abundance on Sunday, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing I'm hearing from people about the pandemic is life still happened. Like mm -hmm. the tragic things that happened, like we've talked about how many people in our congregation who passed away, we weren't able to do services and, and all the trauma that we would have been able to handle in a normal way you know, on top of this crazy fear and anxiety of the pandemic, like now we have to process all that stuff we couldn't process yeah. for the two years, you know, just the normal life stuff we have to process. Exactly. Exactly. Everything was multiplied. Mm -hmm. Everything was amplified. It was, it was a tough two and a half years. So, yeah. so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So go ahead, Melanie, what were you going to say? I was going to say, can we applaud everybody? Allison, you mentioned this in the church office earlier this week. Everybody did so great switching sides last yeah. day. Oh, like yeah. just that act of switcheroo. I didn't hear a lot of grumbling either. I heard like no. a little bit of confusion at first. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't sit over there. I sit over here. But then everybody just did yeah. it. So. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and laughed. 
Yeah, it was amazing to watch people just get up and go. Yeah. And not uh-huh. even complain. Yeah, and be like, whoa, the sanctuary looks so different. <laughs> and it was weird having Allison on the other side of the church to preach. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I was like, uh-huh. what why is she, why is she so close? What's going why on? Why is she in your space? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's going to sing with you. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not singing with Ray. Trust me on that. I am not <laughs> singing. But it was great to, you know, look out and see different people. And it was disorienting because mm-hmm. I was looking for like the same people and, oh, they're not there. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, and speaking of singing, we had our first cantata rehearsal last night. And we oh. had folks from the uh, Latter-day Saints Church join us. Excellent. And they sounded amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. It lifted my spirit, even though I was I, I was in a little bit more pain than normal the last two days. Uh, I was telling you guys earlier, um, I, I started on I, real pain meds on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And I've not been doing that this last two weeks, but it kind of kicked yeah. in on Wednesday. And I was sitting there not on any pain meds at the church <laughs> because I had to drive home. And just hearing them sing, it was it was angelic. It was Aww. wonderful. So that's awesome. Yeah. So I've now, missed those folks too. What What are you going to do for the cantata? What, uh, what What cantata are we doing? Yeah. Uh, we're doing Night of the Father's Love. I think we did it in 2018 or 2019. Okay. 2018, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just a beautiful piece. It's written by Pepper Toplin. And um, yeah, it, it, just listening to those songs and having anything come back to us. And we kind of went through it the entire cantata last night we sang all eight pieces oh wow and, Excellent. and we just sang through it to get it back in our heads and people were as we were running through it, it was coming back to people it was starting to sound really good so good. yeah um what's happening with the youth this week melanie the youth okay um in our middle school class faith exploration on sunday morning we're talking about heaven and hell <laughs> it's not halloweeny um they asked to talk about that, um, right. about the afterlife, about um, the Methodist understanding of heaven and hell and, and why other denominations and other religions think differently. We're just going to kind of explore all of that. And um, uh, I love with these kids exploring these open-ended questions that we may or may not have an answer to and kind of see, you know, where they go with it. So um, I'm excited to do that with them this Sunday. Uh, and then, of course, are we ready to talk about trunk or treat? Go ahead. I have 19 cars. You know, I've wanted uh, cars for trunk or treat. I have 19. All right. We can do one more, people. If you're watching mm-hmm. this today, we need one more car. Come on, just one more. One more car. And somebody asked me earlier this week who's doing a trunk. They said, How much candy should we bring? And I have no idea. We might have 10 people. We might have a thousand. Um, I've put the word out in the Loomis community. I've invited the preschool that operates through our church. Of course, the kids at our church, grandkids of people at our church. So I'm hoping for a lot. I don't know. Just bring all your candy. Yeah. Hey, can I bring my bicycle on top of, I have a car, like my car is going to come, but can I set up my my bicycle? Will that? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Okay. This has nothing to do with you, Allison, but that reminds me of the Wicked Witch in, um, in Wizard of Oz. Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) No, <laughs> that, 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 I'll be crazy cat lady, wicked witch on my bike. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there you go. Um, what else we got going on? We have a lot of announcements to get through today. Um, uh, we talked about trunk or treat. Um, we do have the upcoming concert, uh, two mm-hmm. weeks from is that two weeks from today? Yes. Friday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Friday the 4th. 7 p.m. Winds of Faith. It's the Veterans Day concert. And I wish I could be here for it. I am leaving that day to go out of town for early birthday. Um, Do you know where yet? No. I Okay. So, Still yeah, a surprise? I, it's I a mystery. Them, I, yeah, they mystery. sent. It's called the Magic Mystical Diva Tour. Um, <laughs> I love it. But I was told to bring everything from beach wear to uh, a, like formal wear to go out to a nice dinner. So hmm. I'm thinking like, Mendocino. Could be. It's oh, they, that they could be it's about a one. three hour drive. So it's three hour three drive? Hours. Yeah. Oh, that could be also Monterey. Yeah. Yeah, it could be Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. So we'll see. Um I all I know is we're gonna have fun, fun, fun until daddy takes the T bird away. So 
Um, what else we got going on? We've got uh, Founders Day coming up a week from Sunday on the mm-hmm. 30th with our special yeah. guest, Ida. Yes, Ida Takahashi in Inoue. And she will be sharing memories of the church and just talking about the importance of First United Methodist Church of Loomis in her life and in the lives of so many. So I think it'll be a little bit of history, a little bit of celebrating her. She's over 100 years old. Yeah, she'll be 101 in November, I heard. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking forward oh, to cool. that. I really am looking forward mm-hmm. to that. I am too. She's mm-hmm. more alert than I am, and that's not saying, well, that's not saying <laughs> much for me. But <laughs> she's definitely an amazing, amazing, um, just sweet spirit, kind, mm-hmm. um, sharp, bright. It's mm-hmm. going to be a lot of fun. Uh, um, and yeah, you and I need to talk too, because I'm starting to put together the script for that Sunday, and I, I need to know what order we're going to do things in so mm-hmm. um i've already picked music so i'm looking forward to that sunday oh and i did want to while we're talking about music really quick we have a new drummer if yes you guys yeah. our Sunday, greg he was amazing uh, he was great yeah. so he is uh we emailed him this week and said uh, we hope you're planning to come back we'd love to have you he's a new beginning drummer he's only started drumming no way the pandemic yeah he and, sounded um, so good. Sunday was Sunday was the first time he has ever played drums in public. Oh my gosh! So yeah, we he really was amazing. Having, um, he is a friend of Damien's from work. They've known each other for years, and he told me this week he'll be back every Sunday. So, oh, wonderful! Yeah. So um, yeah, looking forward to having Yay, him Damien. Yes, and he was excited when he found out about the history of our, our church. Yeah. And, yeah. So that was really appealing to him. Good. Um, so yeah, we have him coming back, and uh, that means I'll get uh, be able to play keyboards and sing. Damien can play uh, bass, guitar, and then once um, Jerry well, uh, Jerry Brenton all comes back, I'll be able to play the guitar and play bass, and Damien nice. can go to real guitar, and we'll actually have a little four piece band going on. So excellent, fun um what else we got going on the crop hunger walk that is this sunday october 23rd starts uh registration starts at 1 30 and the walk starts at two so that's happening and then we're trying to meet our goal of two thousand dollars this year do we know um, where we are in that goal i have no idea it's not it's not noted so mm-hmm. i haven't heard um what else we got going on? Oh, Veterans Video. Uh, Christy Olson sent me an email last night, said, please announce that the Veterans Video is now being pushed to November 13th because of all the activities mm-hmm. going on on November 6th um, mm-hmm. between All Saints Sunday and we've got communion that day and we've got the charge conference oh, right. that day. Um, so mm-hmm. we're we're moving the Veterans Video until the 13th. And our ukulele group. Are we moving that too? Yeah, it's going to be kind of um, a meet and greet. So learn a few chords, gather, figure out. Our hope is to be able to perform. So we'll see. Okay, That's our goal. Perform one Sunday. Um, What else? We have the trunk retreat. Um, Oh, we talked about the Veterans Day concert, uh, Tonga Mission Trip. Um, Allison, do you want to bring that up and talk about where we are with that? I saw a bunch of stuff in the choir room last night when I was at the church. Yes. Going for the stuff. And I know you've been buying a lot of stuff for the trip. What's going on? Yes. So we bought playground equipment. So two different sets of playground equipment. Cool. That will be delivered to Oakland. Uh, They are in need of backpacks, children's backpacks. Oh, okay. So Kathy Cove has been gathering school supplies. We have lots of school supplies. We've been getting tools. uh, We have uh, four iPads and a desktop computer. So we still need computers, but definitely backpacks. Okay. Do you mean like school backpacks? School backpacks, children's. Okay. Yeah. Children's size? Yeah. Okay, I'll put the word out for that. Okay, great. Um, there's also an early response team training come up on uh, Saturday and Sunday, November 5th and 6th from 1 to 5 p.m. And the cost for that is $15 per person. Um, 
Yeah, I know we talked a little bit about that a couple of weeks ago, and that is for training for people to be able to go into um, areas with natural disasters and that kind of stuff, right? Yes. So, mm-hmm. cool. I would love to do that, but I won't be here that weekend. Uh, we're still looking <laughs> to make 300 scarves by early December for the Christmas basket recipients. And to date, we have about 100. Is there an update to that? I, I thought heard it was we had, like 180. That's what I had heard with the, in the lantern. It still says 100. So okay. I haven't I'll, updated it. I'll get that uh, changed. I'll talk to Sharon. Okay. And then we have the charge conference, as we mentioned earlier, that's coming up yeah. on November 6th after the worship service at noon, because we have to wait for Masia Evans, the pastor of the Roosevelt Church, to get over there after their their uh, worship service. And that's about all I've got, right? Anything else you guys want to bring up for announcements? Yeah. I, oh, yes. I am in desperate need of digital pictures. So for All Saints Sunday, we want to remember Mm -hmm. the dearly departed. And we're hoping to put together little biographies about people and include digital pictures. So please get digital pictures to me, Sharon or Butch Henry, so that they can be included in the worship service Mm -hmm. on the 6th. And what are the parameters on that? Is it people who have been to our church? No, it could, so it could be church members, their loved ones, folks that died during the pandemic and, and okay. we weren't able to celebrate their lives. Okay. So for instance, it could be like if someone attends our church and they lost a sibling or a parent or a spouse, please, we want to celebrate that. Okay. But do I, they need to do a write-up? Or okay. yes, set, uh, get a write-up to me or to you or to Sharon. So it it could be a part of worship. Okay. Just like a couple of sentences, like a paragraph. Yeah. A couple of, yeah. Paragraph is fine. Okay. And that's going to be on November 6th. Yes. During the worship service. Okay. Yes. Or even videos. So, you know, short little video clip, you know, a 20 second video so we can remember the person. So yeah, Mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. Okay. I would love to include Jose Barantes, who was our bus driver in Costa Rica for Please. years. Include him. Okay. And if you have a picture or a video. Even I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Cool. Uh, while we're talking about gathering pictures and video, I'd like to spend a couple minutes and talk about our Advent series. Uh, we met, mm. you and I, uh, the three of us have met to start planning on that. We've got a follow-up meeting coming up in a couple of weeks. But I have gotten quite a bit of material, pictures, and it looks like some videos I haven't had a chance to look at yet um, from Alara Outlaw. Uh, nice. We got some from uh, Joanne Goodell. Um, I've got some coming from Axel Welker. Uh, quite a few people are starting to reach out to me with stuff, and I want to bring that up again. I'm looking for more. We want to use, um, at the beginning of each worship service during Advent, we want to have a a short clip to play at the beginning of the worship service of memories of uh, Loomis FUMC. Christmas is past. So uh, we want to bring back those memories and celebrate them and acknowledge the history of the church throughout the Advent series. And I am so excited about that. I was looking at the... um, hanging of the green service that we've done a few times since I've been around Mm and I'm looking forward to that coming back. And yeah, I I think this season is going to be really special for me. I don't know about it. If if, if Mm -hmm. nobody else enjoys it, I will. (laughs) (laughs) I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, That's about all we've got this week. Does anything else you want to talk about before we move into joys and concerns? All right, well, let's move in there. I do have one. Um, on Tuesday, my cousin, Danny Carlisle, he passed away very suddenly from a heart attack. Uh, they, He was 60 years old. Uh, so I am the oldest of 30-something grandkids. And uh, wow. so he, my brother, Michael, died two years ago. He was the first of the grandkids to die on that side of the family. And my cousin, Danny's the second. So mm-hmm. um keep his family in prayer. He's got kids yeah. of his own and the wife and oh. brothers. And, well, he's got sisters, he's got two sisters. And yeah. So I have he no in North other, Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. And I have no other 
idea of what's going on as far as the service yet. I haven't talked to his sister since they called to tell me that he had passed. So just keep the family in your prayers. Um, Sorry. Bob Ransford lost his sister, Rhea, this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, those are the joys of, are the prayers of sorrow that we had. Uh, we do have some joys. Uh, Pat and Ray Brown's granddaughter recently had successful emergency surgery. I don't know anything else about that. It's just that it was, it went well. Uh, Lila Sasaki had a birthday and Polly Dye has a new great granddaughter, Cora Rose. I had lunch with Polly on Sunday after church. So nice. yeah, Polly, nice. Polly showed us pictures and she said, of course, it's the most beautiful. Great grandbaby. Of, yeah. of course it is. Well, if it's related to if the baby's related to Polly, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. that is um, true, true. Beautiful uh, spirit. Yeah. And circle of life, my my niece Haley Brooke is having a little girl. We found out she was pregnant a couple months ago and she got the results of her ultrasound this week. She's having a baby girl. So Aww. and my nice. mom's birthday was in March. So I'm hoping it's gonna be around that day. Oh, nice. Um other concerns. Ray Brown is having um, ablation surgery. Is that today? That's today. Yeah. So they're in mm. San Francisco. Um, okay. okay. Uh, Liz Winsworth's 86-year-old father with dementia is still missing. I know that's been going on oh. for a couple of weeks. So keep them in prayer. Yeah. I talked to her on Sunday briefly, and I just, I it, you don't know what to say to some people over that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. I just told her I love her, and then you're in my prayers. Yeah. Um, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. I, yeah. They're heartbroken. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They don't know what to, uh, they can't grieve. They can't. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wayne Connor, gallbladder surgery complications. Mm-hmm. He's uh, home. He's he home. home? Mm-hmm. 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 Better. Uh, Marlene Winger recently had a lumpectomy. Uh, continued prayers for Norma Camp. Uh, Marissa Adams, Sheila Alberry's granddaughter, is still missing. Yes. Uh, the Brown family, friends of the Berryman's younger mother, Julie, diagnosed with cancer. Uh, May, a friend of the Niles, um, a young mother diagnosed with colon cancer. Oh, no. Uh, Bob and Leanna Glenn, uh, moving, Glendy, into, ass- yeah, Glendy, uh, moving yeah. into assisted living in Rockland. So keep all of them in prayer. Anybody else you want to lift up? Yeah, I talked to Sue Ango right before we recorded this. They're both, they've had COVID, they got it on a cruise, and uh, they're both negative now and about to get back out in the world. They're very excited about mm-hmm. Um, But then she mentioned that her daughter-in-law's childhood friend named Sarah, um, who's in Hawaii, is having um, brain cancer surgery today. Apparently, she had had brain cancer before. It came back, and so she's mm-hmm. having surgery this afternoon. So mm-hmm. for Sarah. Um, on the flip side, one quick joy, my, I saw my friend Jay this week, um, visited her and I'm so excited because uh, she's in a board and care. Now she's finished with physical therapy and just waiting for all her bones to heal. Um, I stood at one end of the hallway. She stood in the other and with a walker, she walked all the way down the hall towards me and had this giant grin on her face. She was just so proud of herself. So uh, it was really, really fun to see her progress. That makes me happy because I know she's yeah. had such a long road already and still has a long she road has. to go. So that was yeah. a, that was a big victory right there. Yeah. Yeah. She'll go home in like two uh, in a month. Middle okay. November. She'll be home, like expected to be independent. Oh, That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It is, it that is amazing. A story. Yeah. And it was bizarre when we were talking like she can not remember any of her hospital stay, which was weeks and weeks and weeks. And she was telling me stuff. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I, I was there for, yeah, I was in on that conversation. She goes, what you were <laughs> like, she doesn't remember any of it, any of it. Yes. Wow. A lot of that is defensive mechanism when you yeah. experience a trauma like that. So it's probably a blessing that she yeah. doesn't remember anything. Yeah, I told her, I said, when you do, you're going to need a therapist sitting right beside you. (laughs) Yeah. Allison, do you have anybody you want to lift up? No, I think you've covered everything that was uh, brought to our attention at church. Well, glad to have you back in your own place this week because your your internet was a little bit spotty last week. Yeah, it was shaky. (laughs) Yeah. So do you want to lead us in prayer this week? 
absolutely. Uh, gracious God, just thank you so much for all these beautiful souls in our lives and this beautiful day and um, all the places of abundance. We're so grateful for our church community and all the love and care and support that we give each other. But we also lift up all those who are broken, whether it's in their bodies and their souls and their hearts. Uh, there are so many people struggling right now. And as we hopefully emerge from this time of pandemic, we look forward to continuing the work at the church, uh, building relationships, going out there and celebrating light and love and being places of light and love in the world around us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Then uh, one quick note before we close out today, I want to encourage everybody. I've had so many people reach out to me on Facebook or text or email mm. about shingles. And for those of you who don't or are not friends with me on Facebook, first of all, look me up. I'm happy to friend anybody. But um, I've been sharing pictures and stuff from this journey because I had never really had an education on shingles. I have no family members who've had it, but I never realized how bad it can be get the vaccine, please. <laughs> I've had, I've had at least four people email me say, thank you for bringing this to our attention. We got the vaccine this week. So I highly yeah. encourage anybody to get this vaccine. It is such anyone who's ever had chicken pox is at risk for shingles. So um, please get it, <laughs> get it. My aunt Sandra had it. I'm very happy she did. So um, I did want to do that. Um, then remind everybody that our worship services are at 930 on Sunday mornings and we are at 6414 Brace Road in Lomas, California. Visit our website, which will be on the screen somewhere up here, uh, LomasMethodist.org. <laughs> and you can get links to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And we are building up our YouTube channel. We are getting very close to 200 subscribers, I believe now, which is great. And uh, we've had a lot of people who have joined us since we started publishing the podcast and we're at week eight. I'm very happy that this is being very well received. We have so many people come up and comment to, uh, to us on, at church on Sundays who uh, we're getting a lot of comments on the YouTube channel who watch the, the podcast. Some people have never been to our church said, thanks for sharing this. We love your church. We, uh, we had a lady in Florida uh, who watches this. Oh my goodness. Hi, 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 hi in Florida. Hi, Florida. <laughs> And uh, I, my first thought was, was I hoped that you're out of the hurricane. And yes. Fine. And she did, but um, yeah, her yeah. name is Hannah. So hello, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Um, so, and you also can find emails for all of us and uh, more information on how to contact the church. So please join us. All right. Anything else? Yeah. All right. Thank you both for joining. Love you. I'll see you Sunday Love morning. You. Love you too. Bye. Right. Bye. Have a Love good week, you. everybody. Okay.